being a black, ball-headed woman, I am no less a woman than any other woman, and I deserve the same amount of respect and opportunity as anyone else. I've been a dancer for over two decades. I was a little girl, and I saw Alvin Ailey perform, and I sat on the edge of my seat, and I said, Mommy, I want to do that. I have been very fortunate in a sense. I came into my current body after having shaved my head. So after I made a rather bold choice, I decided that I didn't care what anybody thought. I decided that I wouldn't let anybody dictate what I found to be feminine, what I found to be woman. So I train a lot, which means I carry a decent amount of muscle on my body. And a lot of people are intimidated by that. And a lot of people say that it's not feminine, but nobody can tell me how to be a woman. I am Maya Juliet Abney. I'm an artist. I'm a bold, ball-headed black woman. The movie is called Black Panther, but that movie is about women. That movie is about empowering black women, and oftentimes in the black community and the black family, the mother, the grandmother, the black woman is, we are the leaders of our family, we are the leaders of our community. So this movie represented us as we are. We're leaders, we are strong, we are empowered, we are bold, we are fearless, we're also vulnerable, we're also intellectual, we're also sexy. This movie represented us as complex creatures. ago I was doing a production and I was working with South African women and they would come in with weaves down to their waist one day and be snatched ball the next and I realized that so much of my identity as a woman was constructed around my hair. I'm from the black south where our hair is our crown, it's our glory, you take care of it, it is who you are. I didn't want that. I wanted to divorce myself and my femininity from my hair and the only way to do that was to shave my head. So I did that.